Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, December the 19th, and this is a look at SPY. We are continuing to move forward. Um, here's where we are. Assuming that we have uh, a particular ABCD pattern going, and let's do that. This is a very nice little tool, so let's take a look at these um, potential patterns that might be developing here in the formations. All right, so if if this were an ordinary ABCD pattern, it would have collided right here. Okay, where AB equals CD, of course, if we use that one, this one would be a little bit off, but that one would still be the same. Um, so it's not quite exact because it's overshot that level. Now there is something um, called an alternate ABCD that does not have the same type of dimension, and as a matter of fact, a little bit further extended where it gives the BC leg that we're looking at, a greater level of flexibility. And when we do that, we can see that really we are all the way up to here at 88.6, which is where I'm of the mind that we're off to test. It makes a bit of legitimate sense that here we have this next line of resistance. The question you must ask yourself is, where am I in relation to past movements, and is there a lot of noise or congestion in that way? Now, we have extended very, very much, okay? We've moved up swiftly, and not that we can't continue to do that. It's just not the, mm, it's not the standard environment for us these days, although we've had some very nice moves here and then some moves up here, and then these moves here. But in essence, we don't have these big, clean, upside candles that have provided uh, a couple of days of very nice trading. Certainly yesterday was a breeze, right? In terms of, hey, it broke the level, let's go. And it never came back to break down the level or even test the levels. So we have this upside momentum that's doing very, very well, a likelihood that we move into this region of resistance, perhaps stopping the reason, not the reason, but here we have a likelihood of that stop right here at the base of this congestion. We are up in the pre-market, as I remember here. Um, let me double check. Yes, indeed, we are up in the pre-market, and it looks like we've had about um, three and a half points in the ES that have uh, moved forward, and so we're flattening out just a little bit, so we keep stretching up there. This is um, a region that's got to be looked at, although it has had prints in it, it is essentially a gapping area because um, that's the close of this candle, and that's the open of this candle. So there is a bit of a gapping area here that we may want to fill. So I expect an expansion up into this region, uh, and then a bit of a roll black. Now, does it mean that we aren't moving up? Uh, no, but we are in a space where we are potentially at a short-term end to this big press, because I, for one, did not think we would move this much today, uh, yesterday, excuse me. I thought we would have a little candlestick like that, right? Uh, my Euro target got met. I'd been long the Euro. It got met yesterday. I didn't expect that to be done for, you know, a couple of days. I expected Bank of America to get to 1142 in a couple of days you know, all of a sudden, boom, it's right there. Now, we did have a bit of a squeeze event. Uh, my thought is that what propelled the 
the push certainly in the morning and, and helped it stabilize is that we had some squeeze action. And so we're sitting right here at target areas that I surmised would not be around for a little bit. Now, this is also options expiry week for the monthly options. And we normally do have a trending day floating around there in options week and, and certainly had one this week. So there we have it. You know what the upside is looking for. Listen, when you trade, the best thing in the world for you to do, I'm going to lose all the, the fibs if I do this, but oh well. The best thing for you to do when you take a look at these formations is to be very conscious of where support and resistance lie. And if you continue to make new highs and new lows and you hold relative support, you have strong upside momentum. That's why yesterday was such an incredibly easy day to trade. Right? Uh, this is what an easy trading day looks like. It's very easy. So when we get into a space like this and we start seeing a little bit of sideways action, we know that we've got that damp momentum, but as long as we continue to make higher highs and continue to hold the higher lows, we will have more upside. If it begins to flatten out, pay attention. Don't sit back and go, oh, don't worry, this is going to roll up. How do you know that? Pay attention to what's going on and trim your profits off when you can. All right? Good luck today.